Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha for you. And it's for Sunday, the 5th of June. Here we go. Not exactly a halacha today. A, uh, a good thought for you on the holiday of Shavuos, which is rapidly approaching. It's coming on Tuesday night, and here it is. You know that the famous Medrash tells us that God went to all the other nations and asked them if they wanted the Torah. The other nations said, well, what's written in it? And each time he told the other nations some kind of mitzvah that was anti the way they acted. So as soon as they heard it, they said, oh, I don't think this is going to work. And then they just ended up not accepting the Torah. Along came the Jews. They didn't ask what's written in the Torah. They uh, willingly said, na sevenishma, we will do and we will hear because of their great willingness to just do and hear and listen to God, they were given, given great, great accolades, and, and God said, that's my people. Okay, that's the famous Medrash, but I want to ask you a strong question about this, and the, the Svas Emes asks this question. He says, hey, you know, if you look at this Medrash at face value, it means that other nations had some major obstacle to accepting Torah. There was something in it that was anti them. The Jewish people have nothing in the Torah that's really anti them, and uh, if that's the case, then why are we given such great, great accolades for, oh, it's amazing that we accepted the Torah. It suits our lifestyle anyway. We're not naturally thieves. We're not naturally murderers and all the stuff that's anti-Torah. So why are we told that we're so great for accepting the Torah? So he says a beautiful answer, and it is this. You see, um, there is something in the Torah which is anti us Jews. As a matter of fact, it was a mitzvah that was given to us right before we got the Torah, and that is the one called Vihigbalta es Hahar, and you shall make a border around the mountain. God said, there's a border here. No one is allowed to go past this line. And if you're this kind of person, you could go till this line. If you're this kind of person, you could go till that line. But don't let curiosity stretch you to want to go past your line. You're not allowed there. That's something that's very, very hard for a Jew to do. If I tell you that God is inside of that temple and the Holy of Holies, you could like be at the closest point to his presence, but you're not allowed to go in there. Ooh, it's hard to not go in there. A Jew, when you show him great holiness or great something, his curiosity, his yearning for holiness will draw him there. And when he's told that he can't go there, oh my gosh, it's like, it's like telling a thief that he can't steal, telling a Jew that he can't go all the way to where the perfect holiness is because he's limited and he can only go this way. That's hard for a Jew to do. And that's a mitzvah that's hard for us Jews to keep. The great, great secrets of Torah, sometimes people say, teach me Kabbalah, I want to know all the mysticism. Well, we're told, no, go, go learn some other things first. That's hard. That's something that uh, that's works against our nature. If you show us the top, we just want it. And that's our challenge every day, to just do what we're told as good soldiers of Hashem, of God, to just do what we're told and follow along and not figure out our own ways to scoot to the top more quickly, but just follow like soldiers. Uh, what it is exactly that we're supposed to do. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.